and go Hi guys, welcome back to this 2100 Gaming Again, bring another Snow Break Containment Zone content. So in this video, we're just gonna be talking about are you gonna be investing your incentive points on the card itself? So let's go to the Fog Bound Dream here and let's go to Honor's Bounty. So go to Unlimited. I think, I think you can get one of each, okay? Once you get one of each, then stop, okay? Stop, get one of each, then stop. That's just my advice just to keep it on your stash there. Because again, the details here is like, see, look at this, the Akitsu squad. So three officers use a standard skill to gain one stack of golden, uh, defeat a target to gain five stack, and use an ultimate skill to gain ten stack. So there's like a caveat on this. Whenever you kill or defeat a target, you gain five stack. If you use an ultimate, you get ten stacks. Uh, upon reaching 15 stacks, equipping operative attack increases 25%. So it's technically, if you're fighting a boss, you can't really defeat the boss instantaneously, right? And you're, you using your ultimate skill takes time. So I think this is gonna be a card wherein you can use it in the story, wherein you have lots of mobs. This would really stack really good. So I suggest you just keep it. And I feel like the card, the Tebes, the Tebes squad is much more important. Like, let's go back. So talking about the cards here, so if you go here, um, I'll go to my storage, go to my logistics. So where's my Tebe squad? So this is going to be your Tebe squad. It's not really a good, <laughs> good talent stats right now. Not good talent stats. I want my linear management to be there, but like, yeah, it is what it is. But at least I can get, if you get three of this one, so each time a standard skill, ultimate skill, or a sport skill hits the target, increase own attack by 2% for 5 seconds, max 20 stacks. See, just imagine, because your standard skill, you can spam it, right? You can spam the standard skill. So every spam you get, you get 2% for 5 seconds, max 20 stacks. So this is really a cool thing to have. Plus, whenever you're doing, you're throwing your somewhat like boomerang slashes, you can also hit, hit enemies with the pistol. So I think... Tebe Squad is a good source of card set moving forward for this character because you're gonna be spamming those skills very fast compared to other characters in the game. So she's really good. So if you're really into that playstyle on the cards, I suggest you go there. Or if you want critical, there's lots of cards to put in. It depends on your playstyle, but I, I think Tebe Squad is really good. Comment on the comment section on what other cards that you think that you can be put on um, Haru Abscondictus, I would like to hear from you guys, but like there's also critical and attack up um, skill sets cards for you out there, but like I think Tebe Squad would be really really good moving forward if you're fighting or if you're using Haru in game or you're fighting using Haru as like a boss fighter there as well. So yeah, that's it for me and then this is again 2300 Gaming, I would like to hear from you guys in the comment section and that's it, bye bye!